Yo, what's good, y'all, man? It's Max Drew 49 and I'm back at it again with another tutorial. We got Section 8 and Chi-Chi. Went for them classical Jasper Harris vibes. If you watch Chi-Chi and Section 8's vlog on uh, vlog 15 that he dropped, like I think, like a few weeks ago, Jasper Harris was there and they cooked up some classical type vibes, some trumpet vibes. So that's what I went for. If you guys want a melodic tutorial on Section 8 and Chi-Chi or just unique uh, in general, let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas. Uh, so I'm going to get straight into it with the main melody. You guys hear the little horns in the background. I start off with the arcade 134 BPM. I called it Military Step or it's called military step didn't mess with any of the spread none of that none of those effects i look so pale and shout out prod juco on instagram for telling me about the crates and stuff good guy So that kind of already gave me a feel for what I was going to do, which was like a vintage sample. As you see, I named it vintage up here. So I added on to that using a contact, uh, no wire piano, of course. What I also learned, not learned, but I should have been doing was the scale highlighting. I got it to B, B minor. And that is, you know, uh, the note of the sample that it is in B1. Then it's up to G, F sharp. Everything is in scale. You don't want to put on the black notes like this. You don't want to put it on those dark notes, only the white notes. Use another arcade, boom. Can't really explain the notes because it's already like there for you. Uh, virtuosic chamber, didn't mess with any of it and found you know some classical piano to add in the background just to add some ambience uh and to layer the sample it already sounds full like this so yeah arcade definitely carried the sample but i wanted to try something new um lastly the second contact uh, which was the trumpets And you know, with those trumpets, I did my last Wheezy uh, tutorial. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just shortened the notes. So they played like a little staccato. Shorten the notes. Oh, by the way, this is Sh Sessions Horn Pro. Boom, 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 boom. Wanted to add some little bounce. So like I said, set to one fourth beat. Boom, skipped every, what? Every other, what do you call this? Every other little mini bar. Boom, 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 boom. And then it goes into a long one right here. And with these, I don't really know music theory, so I can't really explain it that well. But just some chords that are all in this scale, except a few of them are out. Uh, a few of them are on the black notes. Your root note, set that scale, helper, scale highlighting. Then boom, B minor harmonic. I'm definitely gonna learn music theory. So it's time for the mixing. Add some. Added some EQ right here to take out the lows and some sheer highs over here. Just went to the very edge and took some of those out. And next, didn't do anything for the piano. For the classical piano, just turned the lows down, took the highs down, and added some stereo separation to 48%. For the trumpets, free reverb, wet knob, turn that up, decay knob. Uh, I don't know what the bass knob is doing here, bass multiplier. Uh, the equalizer, the equalization. I messed with more of the equalization than I did with the parametric EQ. Didn't mess with anything else, man. Let's get straight into the drums. I'm gonna play the beat once again because, you know, it's hard. <laughs> loud the beat is full and most importantly most importantly when it comes to section 8 and chi chi the beat has bounce let's get straight into the first thing which is the clap boom the clap right here eight bar simple clap and i used only my official drum kit volume 2 only available at my store and not pirated websites or reddit added some variation right here boom boom Quick tip, when it comes to making unique beats, you know, when it comes to making hard, bouncy beats, um, like Section 8 and Chi Chi, you want to have some variation, don't overthink it, and have your let your creativity flow loose when it comes to these drums, man. Can't be stuck in a box. We can't be doing the same thing over and over again with the Pyrex type stuff. Just adding some variation right there with that, and you're going to see why I did that too. That's everything else is self-explanatory with the hi-hats.
and so all i did here one fourth beat when i looked and this little quick roll right here i did this with the counter snare i'm about to show in a minute but this little quick roll leaves you know some bounce to it maybe you want to transition something into an open hat or transition into a vox or something like that uh anything you want to do but i suggest you know when it comes to these bounce stuff add some space add a few rolls and also what section and chi chi do is they add like some long rolls and even rolls down even here but i didn't do that for this beat add some space right there and you see these little two things right here like a t all that i did that frequently and i kind of be doing that in my most of my beats you know i don't know what it is but it just gives it some different bounce some variation bounce add a quick roll down here and then <clears throat> with this with this long roll that tr actually transitions into an open hat when i'm about to show the uh, make sure your control is on velocity go down here right click you're gonna have this you're gonna your mouse is gonna turn into this little uh i don't know what that is you're gonna scroll down boom go like that it's gonna go right into the other pattern just like that and everything else self-explanatory Except to added some variation over here. As you see, I play with the velocity for most of the um, notes. I don't know what this note is doing here. I just added that. And what you want to do with these beats, add some variation, add some creativity. Next is the classic snare, some counter snare. I'm going to play this with the hi-hat and the secret clap so it doesn't sound like off. So you guys see why I added that second clap in there. So this counter snare is gonna roll off of that second clap. So just like that, it goes into the counter snare, adds a lot of different bounce to it. Everything else, self-explanatory. Just fill in the spaces, but at the same time, don't fill in too many spaces, leave some space for the artist, etc. But you wanna make sure everything is just fitting in place. So boom, when it comes to the 808, so I also pitched the sample up like 100 cents. So now it's in uh, the note of C. So I went from C, boom, mm, mm, mm. so it's in G sharp minor. And actually, let me set my high, let me set my helper, um, boom, C. So you see, now it's in the white note. Just you got to go with the white notes. Don't do anything in the black unless it sounds good in the black notes. And what I mean by that, you see the highlighted and you also see the white. When it comes to like these little rolls down here, I could have went up to here. So it's not muddy, but I took a risk and it's like anything below G sharp is money muddy when it comes to 808 G sharp number four. And but anything above is like too high, so I had to take a risk. I was like, I'm let's start right there, just like that. Those little rolls, and then at the end, you hear it. If you listen to a lot of Chi Chi's beats, man, he does that little all those crazy rolls at the end. So I said it's a one third beat, and let's just place right here. But you could also do some different rolls, like. You want to make sure everything is in scale. You don't want to have out of scale, out of key 808 rolls. It's not going to sound good. You can't just do 808 rolls and it's going to be out of key. Everything else is self-explanatory. So I'm going to play the drums by itself so I can just let you guys hear, you know, the bounce, you know, everything is going in. Of course, you know I had to add the what's hand in Chi Chi Vox, which is this little, you know, Section A and Chi Chi always use that. People say it gets annoying. I personally like it a lot. And let's get to the mixing. The melody, parametric EQ took some of the harsh frequencies out right here, which is in the middle. Took those lows out and the high. Next is the 808.
I honestly just messed with the uh, Fruity Parametric EQ one and the equalization, uh, the equalizer uh, over here. Uh, turned a little bit of the lows down, boosted a little bit of the highs. And when why the 808 is hitting so hard, boom, go to pre-computed effects, boom, boost, boost the gain to 10%. Uh, boost the frequency to 55% the EQ Also turn that velocity up. You're gonna have a crazy hard-hitting 808 next up is the hi-hats, you know what I'm saying Fruity parametric EQ some some hi-hats be having some weird little frequencies over here So I just took the low outs and some of them also be too bright So I just took some of the highs out over here everything else just leveled correctly Everything falls in place. Everything is leveled. Make sure your beat is loud. Make sure it's hitting, but make sure it's not clipping. Always add a soft clipper on your master. Shit. Section 8 said he don't even put anything on his master. Come on, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope y'all learned something. I know this was a quick little short video, but I'm a little tired for no reason. I don't know why. New video next Friday. I'm also going to start streaming on the weekends. I know I said that like 10 times, but I got y'all for this time for real. Follow me on my socials. Everything is going to be down below. My drum kit, I'm going to put that in the comment section. Hey, Sample series volume two just dropped 40 samples for 15 bucks, but there's also a free version for 15 samples. So let's get it. You guys, family, I love y'all, man. Peace.